Hello, I'm Mr. Minix. My name, math, is my game. Uh, this is my second attempt at, at creating this video for MathExcelForSchool.com. If you watched the first one, the sound quality was horrible. So we're going to give it a go again. Anyway, uh, there's two different scenarios in which you can log into Math Excel for School. Some students who were in class last year, they might remember the old login. And if they do, if they do, uh, this first half of the video is going to walk you through step by step how to log in in that event. Okay? If you either don't remember your login from last year or you've never created an account, we're also going to go over how to do that. Okay? So half of, some of you half the time are going to be bored to tears and, and you might have to skip through the video and maybe I'll time stamp it in the comments. So um, first things first, if we go to the World Wide Web, um, it's imperative, that means it's very important, that means it's a, necess a necessity. But when you go to Math Excel, that you go to the right website. Last year and the year before, I had students say, Mr. Minnick, Math Excel is asking me to enroll in a course. I'm already enrolled in a course. And I would frantically scramble to get them a new access code and the course code, then to come to the realization, you know what, they're going to the wrong website. The website that's wrong, that's not right, is mathexcel.com. If you go to mathexcel.com, it'll let you log in. It'll accept your login, but it won't think that you're enrolled in, a, in the right course. Okay? So that's not what we want. We don't want mathexcel.com. It's real important that you put that for school. It's mathexcelforschool.com. Okay? For school.com. Come. Okay. So if you just click the regular Math Excel Pearson here, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to see if I remember my login information. Maybe I do. Sign in. Um, and actually, you know what? I'm going to have a student who remembers their login information to co to come on up and, and, and log in. So. Okay. So this is a student who last year remembers their login information from last year um, and the password. And what's going to happen is once the student gets to the, to the next screen, it's going to say, you know what, you're either not enrolled in the course or that course is expired or your um, account, it, it's done for the year. Expired user account. Okay. Everybody all right so far? Good. So if that's the case for you, that's no problem. We're going to click OK. And what we need to do is we need to go ahead and we need to go back and we need to, to register. Okay. So we're going to register as a student and we need to scroll through all this. If you want to read it, you can read it. It's going to take you five years. We're going to accept that and we'll start this process. So if you remember your information, yes, you have a Pearson account. And at this point, it's going to ask you for some information. Now, my information is stored, so you're going to have to repop it's automatically populated, so you're going to have to put new stuff in there um, for a student who's volunteering to do this. I appreciate volunteers. That's awesome. So um, in a minute, it's going to ask for an access code. It's real important that you understand about the two different access codes. The access code I'm going to pass out in my class here in a minute, these cost the school anywhere between $12 and $36, depending on how many I bought at one time. If the school orders a bunch of them, they're about $12 each. If the school orders just one or two, they're $36 each. So anyway, it's a very long code. You will have to use the tab button to cycle from one box to the next. And it's all letters. It's not case sensitive. So if you want to use lowercase, that's fine. Okay, um, you don't have to use uppercase, and this is the one that's all learned. So I'm going to go ahead and pass these out while this is going on. Okay, so I've informed my class again with this access code. It's imperative. Uh, it's a one-time only use. Make sure everything's correct before you go to the next screen. Uh, our volunteer here has got everything in, and he's going to go ahead and click next, and we'll see what happens after we get all that in. And it says we've entered, uh, it didn't like the password for, for, for some reason, so we'll try that again. And, and it's frustrating sometimes when you, when you do this. Uh, it's 
So if we got everything going right here, the password is definitely case sensitive. I created a new account, and it's very frustrating creating a new one because the password uh, can can sometimes be a. Wasn't there a 23 in your login name before? I thought I had a 23. Well, we're using, he'll leave in the same password. But your username was different, wasn't it? And next. Awesome. Okay, so at this screen, uh, and, and we won't save your password here because I'm, I'm not going to log in as you. Um, so one thing about the email address, use the email address that you're going to use all the time, that you're going to check regularly. Okay? So if you have a Yahoo account that you check more than your school account, use that email. Um, if you've already been enrolled, everything in here should be populated and you should be good to go. Okay? Um, so we're going to go ahead and click Next on this. I mean, like, well, it doesn't matter if it's a school, school name, how the school name is spelled, whatever. So it says, do you want to go ahead and log in now? Yeah, we're, we're already on the ball. Let's go ahead and log in now. And now you're going to need a second sheet. And I'm going to pass that out here in a second. No pun intended. Um, we'll hit Enter Math Excel for school. And it might say, you know, you're already enrolled in a course. Maybe it won't. Let's hit it again. Sometimes it, you have to hit it twice. It says you're already enrolled in Algebra 1. Well, we're going to go ahead and enroll in a new course. And I'll give you a new sheet of paper here now. And this will have the course code to enroll in Mr. Minnick Algebra 2 PD2. Um, last year, I had a student from South America watch this video and enrolled in my class and did all the homework and took several of the tests. One Mojito, if you're watching, I love you, one. You're a great student. Thank you for enrolling. Um, so. At this time, I'm going to give you a, a code. This one, it's not case sensitive, um, but it will cycle to the next box. You punch in your four letters or numbers, and it will cycle to the next box. Okay. What I'm going to ask those of you who are doing this in my class, there's an asterisk by your username and password. I'm not going to give this to your mom. I'm not going to give it to your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, Mr. Dobin, uh, anybody. But I do want to file this for my records, so legibly print your username and password so I can file it in my filing cabinet in the event that something happens, you forget your username, password, whatever. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Shout out to the future Mr. Minnick. Shout out to the afternoon classes who are watching this. Uh, shout out to Miss Guy for watching this. I hope she watches this one instead of the one with the bad sound quality. So on this screen, as you're enrolling, it's really important. Uh, zeros and, and O's are different. Um, you'll notice that once you have the, the code correct, it'll say Mr. Minnick Algebra 2 P2 or Mr. Minnick Stats, whatever the class is you're enrolling. We're going to go ahead and click and enroll. And that takes care of this portion of the video. Thank you, Mr. Parker, for volunteering to do that. I appreciate it. Good job. And I'm going to go ahead and sign you out from this screen, and I'll let you log in on your own machine at this point. Um, so what I'd like to do now, let's check the time. This is eight and a half minutes into the video. Um, so in the second half of this video, I've got a volunteer who has never created an account or doesn't remember their account for information for last year, whatever the case may be. We're going to go ahead and, and walk through the step of creating a new account. So again, we're going to math excel for school dot Com. And we're going to have our volunteer come on down and run through this process. So we click on mathexcel4school.com and we're going to register as a student. And we'll accept the license agreement, the privacy policy. And in this case, we'll say, no, we don't have a Pearson account. And log in. Once you put something in the box, there's, there's a little thing off to the side. You can check to see if that username is available. Okay. Log in name, it's not real picky. And if we click the check availability box, it'll let us know if it's available or not. Now, the password, read what it says. It says you have to have at least one capital letter. 
You have to have at least one number and it's got to be eight characters. And it'll tell you if it's too short, if it's invalid, if, if one cap, one letter, well, one number and a total of eight characters. Very frustrating trying to come up with passwords. Gone are the days of one, two, three, four. So this process is almost similar to what we did before, but there's one or two differences. So the access code part, same thing. It's not case sensitive. You don't need to use capitals. Make sure you're in the box, though, when you go to type. Make sure you're not in your, oh, I think it might have put a character in your password box, so. For those of you who already uh, logged in, just go ahead and work on the math uh, Excel orientation assignment. That is due by midnight tonight, so. And I'll talk more about due dates later. Well, and again, make sure you say after each word, make sure you, I use tab, you can arrow over whatever you need to do. So the enrollment process, you only have to do this once. The access codes are good for one year, 365 days. Last year we ran into trouble because the access codes were still good for three days and then everybody's access code quit and everybody had to get a, an access sheet, it was a mess. Um, so we'll go click next. Now on this screen, uh, it doesn't like something. What doesn't it like? Uh, password, okay. So this process of getting the right password and getting that to accept can be frustrating at times. We'll click next. Now, uh, in this part of the enrollment screen, don't hit enter until, uh, j just don't hit enter on the screen, okay? So we'll put your information in here. I made the mistake of hitting enter at this screen and it, it like kicks you out of it and you have to start everything, everything all over again. It doesn't repopulate, so don't hit enter. Um, either use tab or click in the next box. Unfortunately, our school isn't in this system yet, so we do have to put our school information. So when we scroll down to country, of course, we're in America. Good old United States right at the top of the list. Our zip code's 44231. And if we hit enter, it, it, it kicks us out. <laughs> it's, it's just habit. I did the same thing five times. And we have to retype everything. <laughs> Let's see if my second period class wants to give a shout out to anybody. Anyone? To the whole school. I like that one. I'm going to give a shout out to the future Mr. Minnick for being such a nice guy. Although he shouldn't be wearing his hat because that's against school. Rules. So the zip codes 44231, click other for school because we're not in the system. Let's scroll down. And our school, it doesn't matter what you could, you could put Mickey Mouse, but it's James A. Garfield High School. And School City's Garrettsville, two L's, two T's, two L's, not necessarily in that order. And we're in Ohio. Security question, you need to answer that. And may we contact you? I always leave that one blank, otherwise you get bombarded with emails. And next. And so hopefully you've made it to that screen. We'll go ahead and hit log in now. And you might have to click enter math Excel for school twice. Uh, so that was interesting. That was very interesting. Let's go ahead and log. Maybe I didn't log out Mr. Parker. So let me try logging out Mr. Parker. I said, let me try logging out Mr. Parker, and let's try this again. Sign in. Here we go. So you'll 
username and password. I created an account for myself and, and one for another teacher today, and it's very frustrating trying to remember all the passwords and, and everything. There we go. All right, so we're entering Math Excel for school, and now we're going to enroll in a course, and here's this course code, and it, 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 make sure you write your username and password down somewhere secure. <laughs> so here you do need to click in the box, but it will cycle to the next box once you get your four digits in. The enrollment process, like I said, it's only a one-time deal. We only have to do it once every 365 days. On this screen, watch out for zeros and, and O's. Zeros have a little slash through them. And it's the right class, and we're going to click Enroll. And that's it. Thank you to both of my volunteers. Uh, hopefully this video has been informative. Hopefully it's been helpful. Uh, another shout out to the whole school. Another shout out to everyone watching. Follow me on Twitter at themathoverlord.com. Have a great day.